y'all welcome back to my channel uh today i wanted to talk about my 2021 garden goals this is if you were first off if you're new to my channel hi my name is sarah i upload three times a week uh vlogs on sundays everything else on tuesdays and thursdays and today i wanted to talk about my 2021 garden goals this year is going to be a particularly unique year because i have a feeling we might be moving this year there is like a 50 50 chance it's going to happen so my, my goal for 2021 last year was to grow 100 things. I didn't say successfully, I just wanted to like attempt to grow 100 things. My goal last year was to grow 50, attempt to, I grew 54. So, um, or again, attempted. So I wanted to double it this year and I kind of like the idea of doubling it. It's just like a nice, easy thing to wrap my head around. So yeah, so I've definitely got enough stuff to do that. I'll link some uh, like seed halls and stuff like that above, but I definitely have some stuff. Uh, and I just got more stuff in for um, from Florette. That'll be in my monthly newness haul that'll come soon. Um, but I wanted to talk about some like, some goals that I'm setting for myself in a particularly unique year. Because uh, in the case that we move, one of the things that I wanted to do very early on was I wanted to cut flower garden this year. Just for like ease, we'd move once the school year's over, but the problem with that is it's at like the height of like a cut flower garden and it's at the height of tomatoes and melons in that, right? Because of, because where I live, I live in Austin, Texas. So I live in, I live in zone like 8B, right on the cusp of 9A. It gets very, very hot here. So um, June is really where like you've got the full like summer garden and then July and August is where it's like too hot for it to really thrive. So you need to plant your like subtropical things then. However, uh, if I am planting a cut flower garden, I need to think that through. So I want to maintain that goal. I just need to figure out how I'm going to do it in a way that if I have to leave it, it won't hurt my soul. So I either I'm going to container plant the whole thing and just get like a ton of grow bags for it and just stack grow bags and kind of like get over the visual of the grow bags or something. I don't know yet, but I wanted to at least set the goal for myself and put it out there. So in case you're in that spot too, I don't want you to feel limited because you're in like a temporary spot. You know what I mean? Um, the other thing, so a hundred things to grow in general, like a hundred plants of some sort. Uh, I wanted to do a cut flower garden. The third thing is I wanted to plant edible flowers. I really wanted to try my hand at edible flowers this year. So I picked up a bunch of nasturtiums and pansies and calendula or calendula, however you pronounce that. Um, I've heard it both ways. I don't know which one's the right one. But I picked up a bunch of those and um, and yeah, I wanna try my hand at it. I wanna see how they do. I also wanna try them as companion plants. I think that'd be like a nice idea. Um, my, but yeah, so I just thought it'd be fun. My fourth goal is I wanna plant a lot more tomatoes and melons. I had so much fun growing those last year. Oh, and, and like pumpkins and squashes. I had so much fun growing those last year that I really wanna do more. Um, now the benefit is our fall tends to be where my tomatoes like really started to shine. So I'm gonna start earlier this year with tomatoes and have them come like April, May into June and then with my um and then like fall is where I get another like huge into I mean hell into December I was doing I had a tomato at the beginning of the month um but it was awesome anyway so that's a big goal of mine I just I really love the things that vine I have so much fun watching those grow it's 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 like one of the highlights for me it's so fun um trellising them is just so fun so yeah and then my fifth goal was I because I want to expand and play more and grow more, I wanted to start like a little bit of a CSA. So what I did was I reached out to like my local friend group of sorts and I just said like, hey, if you're interested in organically grown like heirloom fruit, veggies, flowers, edible and cut, etc., cetera, uh, let me know. I'm gonna do like just a really small, like five, 10 people CSA on the house if you want to donate to the cause and just put it back in the garden you're welcome to um but I just basically I don't want any of the stuff to go to waste and because I'm not like a professional whatever like farmer or anything yet like I can't I there's like restrictions around what I can actually do with it but if I just want to give it to friends I totally can right so that's kind of my plan I did that a little bit with kale this winter especially this month and it's gone well so I just kind of want to see like that'd be kind of fun right and keep the keep the bar low so in case I do struggle or something doesn't come up I'm not like 
without money or something like that right it's just like a very chill thing but i thought it would be super fun and it gives me an excuse to to plant more stuff because i've got people to feed with it you know what i mean so yeah so those are my five like 2021 garden goals i just kept them pretty like achievable because i don't know if i'm gonna be in this house all year and then like in a couple of years these goals are gonna be like way bigger but for right now you know what i mean i just i want we're still high risk in a pandemic i want things that i can actually achieve and uh in case we do move i want things that i can still achieve even with a move i have i've got raised beds so we actually built those a specific way so we can get them on a trailer and move them so i don't lose whatever crop is on that and then um i think i'm also gonna it's okay sorry adelaide um i also think i want to do uh got some other ideas for the future but i want to see where we kind of land because i don't really have the space to put um like i don't have the space for chickens really i we kicked around doing that and i just i really don't think it's a good idea the more and the more i researched i was like oh there's just too many things that could happen um but yeah so i just thought i'd keep it at those five just keep it there and then we'll go from there. But anyway, I hope y'all come along with me on the journey. I cannot wait to share more gardening content with you. I'm so excited. It's probably the, thing the most, it's probably the thing I'm the most excited for. So I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see y'all very soon. Bye.